Hey everyone, Roblox Dev here with another video where today I'm going to be showcasing my cutscene script. So to get started, I'm just going to hit play and showcase the cutscene. And then I will go over how I made it. So as you can see, it's a very smooth uh, camera. It just goes everywhere you'd like it to. So from the soda can down to the car, through the car to the door, and then into the door. And the camera is given back to me after that. So in this video, I'm going to be showcasing and showing you guys how I made this cutscene script. So the first thing I did is place down all my parts. So uh, what I did is I went to the part, I went down to surface, and I went to front surface and added a motor. Just so there's like a little camera kind of shape in front of the part. And then from there, I inserted a script in every single part just to make them transparent when the game runs. So you don't, you don't see this yellow thing when the camera goes here. So the camera originally starts over here, facing at the Roblox sign. And then it tweens over here, facing the pizza. And then to the soda. And then down to the car. Then to this part, and then to this part. So how does this all work? Well, the thing is, we use a local script for this. And here's the script. So basically what I do is I create a remote event in replicated storage and with that I use tween service to move the camera around and then I get the player's camera right here, game.workspace.camera. And then uh, I create a function and it has a few parameters. So the first parameter is the first part, the part that it starts at. For example, for the first tween from this part to this part, this is part one and this is part two uh, as seen right here, part one and part two. And then the tween time, however long the tween should take and then return cam. Return cam chooses whether I should give the player the camera back after uh, after the event or the function is ran or not. Um, just so it doesn't end up looking all weird, you know, tween here, give the player the camera, take it back, tween here, um, give the player the camera and take it back, and all of that. It just um, goes from here to here, here, here. And on the last tween, we actually give the player the camera back. So uh, how does this work? Well. There is a remote event, and basically uh, all these parameters are passed through in that event. So if we look right here, here is the cutscene script that basically just manages all the cutscenes. So the first one goes from part one, so right over here, to part two, which is over here. So part one, part two, so I have those two parameters figured out, as seen right over here. And then from there, we do uh, three seconds of time, so the tween time parameter, uh, tween info dot new, the seconds will be tween time, and then we wait tween time. So there's that, and then there's false, and why is, why have I passed through false? Well, false is going to be return cam. If return cam is true, which it is on the last tween, then we give the player the camera back by switching the camera type back to custom, else uh, we just return and end the function. And so basically when the event is ran, we connect the function that we just made. So, uh, from there, that's all there really is to it. I can also pass it um, to a specific player only, fire client, and then if I just pass, uh, pass through game.players.superpilot33. So, we're only doing this because we know I will be in there. Also, this probably won't be my username in a while, so uh, that, that's something to keep in mind, but... Basically, we just pass through the player, then the first parameter, the second parameter, uh, the time, and then uh, whether we want to give the player the camera back or not at the end. So now I'm going to showcase what it would be like if I didn't give the player the camera back. So if I set this to false, uh, let's hit play, and let's see what happens. So we start off here, we tween to this part, then we tween to the soda can, then down here to the car, then through the car, to this part, and the last part in the door. As you can see, I didn't get my camera back. I can't really control it. I'm scrolling in and out. Uh, nothing's really happening. So uh, why is that? Well, I didn't give myself the camera back. When the event was ran, we said false. And in this script, our return cam, it came back as false. And over here, if return cam is true, then give the camera back. Else, so else, well, true and false, you can't really have anything other than that. So else if it's false then we just return and yeah close the function so that's how this cutscene script works um that's pretty much all there is to it it's really cool uh really customizable 
Uh, these are just some basic assets I got from uh, Roblox's uh, asset pack that they released a, a couple of weeks ago. It's really cool. They're all free assets to use. You guys can import them too. If you want a video on that, let me know. Uh, there's hundreds and there's hundreds upon hundreds, maybe even thousands of assets that are free. So if you guys do uh, want that pack, make sure to let me know in the comments below. But other than that, that is how I made my cutscene script. And I will see you guys in the next video, maybe even for a part two. And uh, that's all. It's Roblox Dove. Peace.